Hello, so this is Orihime, um, which is a, it's a software for drawing crease patterns. It also will fold them up for you, um, which here's what it looks like. There it is. So this is it's a, a software for drawing crease patterns, and it's, uh, it's pretty epic. So let me just tell you right now, um, if you're not using Orihime, I'm guessing you're using Oripa, and uh, just trust me, you're, you're kind of missing out. So um, I don't blame you, though, because a while ago, like, I started out with Oripa because it's much easier. Um, Oripa, these are like all the tools you have, um, but you see it's much more pleasant, and the, the buttons are labeled, and it's um, but uh, it's not as powerful. But this one, it's it's like a, this is Orihime. It's the buttons are not labeled. It looks less friendly. Um, uh, it's kind of like an airplane cockpit. Like you kind of gotten know what you're doing. All the buttons are kind of intimidating, but the truth is that most of them are like these guys. You're rarely going to use them ever. Um, and and the other thing that's cool about it is that it has a lot more powerful tools than Oripa, a lot more faster and convenient. It just takes a little bit to get used to. So hopefully this video will help you um, get get over that first bump of getting used getting used learning how to use it, and then you will be able to enjoy this powerful tool that Oripa kind of lacks. Um, this is actually the modded version, although which well, I'll have the link in the description. It was made by a guy named Underchalks from the Discord. He's a really, really smart programmer. So uh, go check out his, his GitHub. Um, although, and then it's just, it's basically the same thing. It's just a little easier to use. Than, but the original will still have all the same tools that I'm, I'm showing you here. All right. So So first of all, um, opening, saving, exporting. You you can open things. So um, yeah. So let's see. Where's my? So you you can open um, .cp files. So you can open up an old one. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, but then and then, but it's weird because when you save it, it it's a little bit different from other. Program so you don't you can't really do a save as you kind of save it on top of another file you can't really make a new file that's that would be export um, but some even then export sometimes it's like save it on top of another file or something so um, if you want to make sure that you don't lose anything um, what I do is I go to Oripa which does have a save as so let me just draw something real quick and then save as let's call this the demo CP and then organize it. And then um, you can close it up. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but that's what I've been doing. It works fine. So let's open up the demo. Okay, so here's some random one. First thing you gotta see is you can use this blue box, you can turn it off with the help button, or if you're using the mod, you can press H and it'll toggle it on and off. Alright, then then these ones, so the mouse, the, the scroll wheel, it kind of works, but sometimes it gets a little funny. But So I use these um, these buttons, so this one will help you move the thing around. And it's a little weird because it doesn't tell you which button you're using. You just got to kind of remember and go back and press it again. So this one will shrink it, expand it, rotate it, and it's going to rotate around the green thing. Um, you can hide that with this, this checkbox over here to hide that. Uh, and then these ones, I'm pretty sure it sets like um, how accepting is it going to be for snapping. Just leave the default settings, you're fine. This one, um, I'm pretty sure it does the same thing as this button, so you can kind of ignore that. And then this one will toggle whether auxiliary pieces show, which I don't have any yet, but we'll see that later. Um, this is for this, the other type of auxiliary, so there's two types of auxiliaries. I'm pretty sure they do the same thing, toggle whether those are visible. Then this is for the mountain, valley, and the edge. So black is edge, blue is valley, red is mountain. So whether those are visible. All right. Then over here we have the undo button. So 
if this is this number is how many set steps or yeah how many things you can go back usually 20 is kind of small so pick a bigger number so I usually go like 80 100 and then you have to press s for it to work um, and it doesn't really tell you that you press it you just gotta press it and then this is the undo button and the redo button so let me just draw a line real quick and then I can undo that or I can redo that right and I can re undo it 80 times um, with this then these are just for formatting kind of so I can make the lines thicker um, I can make the vertices thicker um, and then I can change how they look anyways okay now let's get to the important stuff so first of all uh, this is a box lead model mostly um, so let's turn on the grid so this is a 16 grid and you have to press S alright so that set the grid now you gotta show it so you can press this button here um, and if you toggle it it will, it will toggle whether you want the whole thing or just the square or you know no good at all. So that's good. Then um, another thing to know is that when you hold the right click and you get this pink box, that's your delete. So your right click hold is your eraser. Um, and then to redraw it in, now there's all these tools for redrawing it in. So the main one you're going to be using, especially for box bleeding, is this one. And you can press L, um, and that will. If you're on the mod, you can press L, and that will turn it on. Then you can press M, or V, E, or A, so mountain, valley, edge, or auxiliary. So I'm going to draw the mountain, so I press L and M, or same thing as doing clicking here and then here. And so then I can drag and drop. And, since, and I'm using this one, which will snap to the grid points. This one will not. So that's um, whatever you choose. And auxiliary looks like this. Let me just show you auxiliary. So it looks blue, and then if I go like this, it'll... it'll whether to show show it or not, and then another important one is this one. So you can press C, I guess C for change maybe. So you can anything in the box will change the direction. So I could change all of these, and then now all the mountains switch to valley, all the valley switch to mountain, and so yeah. Oh, what's what's going on? What was it? It was it looked like this. Yeah. Anyways, um, so those. So you have the mountain valley draw, line drawing, and you have the color change. Um, this one over here is pretty important. So this one will tell you it's like your um, your checker thing. So it will tell you whether your your um, your vertices are legit. So so see here, I am. Um, these are, these vertices don't follow the flat foldability rule, so they have a pink circle. And I gotta go fix them. You can also uh, change how dark they are over here. Um, yeah. Oh, and then the fold button. Then here's the fold button, so press fold and wait for it. Yeah, there it is. And so then same the same controls as up here, but this these will control the, the fold model. So this I can drag it around. Um, we can make it bigger, smaller, uh, rotate, you know. Um, or I can manually type it in. So 90 yeah, well, that didn't do much. You know what this is? Aha, uh -huh, it's a shirt. Oh man, this is this is the wrong way. That should be mountain. Anyways, then you can um, change the color of your fold. So let's say I wanted a red shirt, and then on the back it's purple. Oh yeah. And then uh, this is the line color. So oh, what is Mexi shirt? And then you can you can press the um, the brakes. If, if it's calculating for too long and you want it to stop, you press the brakes. This, the crumple will, um, uh, will remove the thing. And there's a few other um, different things you can do with the uh, fold model, but that's the main thing. And then this table button will uh, clear your whole crease pattern. So you got to be careful of that. And then you always have your undo button if that happens. Anyways, so with that, let's go ahead and draw an example crease pattern. Um, I'm so let's do a, we're doing a box bleed crease pattern because that's those are easier to start out with. Um, and for lack of a better crease pattern, we're going to go draw one of my own. So this is the crease pattern database. It's a Google Drive. Link will be in the description. Good, good stuff. So where here's mine. Let's go. Let's draw. A, let's draw a carrot. So so first thing you see is that it's um it's a 16 by 16 grid. So let's go ahead and 
and set that up. So go down here, 16, and then set. There you go. Now, now let's draw in the um, the diagonal lines. So I'm just going to go and do them all with the mountain for now. So I pressed uh, L and M, or I can go here, and then drag and drop. And then at the bottom, and these diagonals are six units long. And and then why don't we can, we might as well draw in these over here. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna wait on doing the valleys. I'll do the valleys later. Uh, until then, I'm gonna show you a cool trick which I didn't go over earlier. So this one is really handy for box pleating. Um, the G I'm guessing for grid. So what it does is you draw it perpendicular to all the grid lines. Bam! Look at that. That's pretty epic, huh? And you see that they're going the wrong way, right? It goes mountain, starts with mountain, and here starts the valley. So that's easy fix. We go here or press C. We always click on this one. And then change all of them, and there we go. And then we can do the same thing um, for here. So let's press G or for grid or go here. And then great. Epic. Nice, nice. Okay, now. Um, now let's go ahead and do these horizontal creases. So uh, that's one mountain going all the way across and the valley underneath it. So L, M. And then press V to switch the valley. OK. And then now you see over here, they're all swapped. right? So let's just press C, or this one. And then we can go ahead and swap all of these, except Also, it looks like I drew this this box in the wrong spot, so let's erase that. So I drag the right click, and they're all gone. And then now, I mean, they're valleys, so I might as well draw them in the valleys. Ooh, L, V. So L is for line, and V is for the valleys. And then, why don't we just draw in the rest of them? And then there's a mountain down the middle here. Mountain, valley. Mountain. So let's. So I know right now we're just copying it, but um, let's 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 watch and see. Let's watch the pink things disappear. So once all the pink things disappear, we know that we finished the crease pattern. So there we got rid of one mountain here. Uh, mountain here. This one should switch. So I press C, highlight over this one. You can also click it too, but I find it easier to highlight. Um, this one. What is wrong with this one? Oh, this one's missing a mountain. So L M. Okay, and then the main problem is here is that the the ridges are alternating, so this should be a valley. So I I could just go like or press C and just go like that. Um, and then what needs to be done is here is the need to hinge crease. So I'm just going to do it as valley for now. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. So L V. I always forget to press L. Alright, and now there's this one here, which is pretty cool. So this one will alternate. It takes a line and alternates them. So we want this to go, This we want this crease to be alternating. So we can just redraw that. And there it is. So I can probably do that. Can I just? Oh, okay, probably need the existing crease. So let's do that. Let's draw the, the existing crease. And then now we go to here. The shortcut? I don't know what that is. So let's just air easy, easy. Is that correct? Yeah. That's, yeah. Wait, no. That's that's wrong. Um, these need to be going together. Anyways, so let's um, let's just we can just swap them manually one by one. It's not too many. And then you know swaps. Oh, it was correct. It was correct the first time. What am I doing? Wait. Well, there you go. All the pinks are gone, so we know we're, we're done. Then here, let's just um, draw on this. And, oh, actually, wrong place. Undo that. It goes over here. And it starts off with mountain. So let's just give this another try. 
and it was wrong. Kind of goes, there we go. So that's that does the trick. So if you have if you're on like a 64 box speed, you want to you don't want to go correct all of those. It's a good option to just um, do this trick. Which, by the way, most of these things, a lot of these things, Arepa doesn't have. Like, um, Arepa does have this drag and drop thing that I'm doing right now. This drag to highlight, but it doesn't have like this feature. And it certainly does not have the auto grid feature that saved us so much time. Um, one more crease and we're done. Oh, right. Yep, great. So let me uh, expand this. Now we can fold it. So, and it's already pre colored, which is pretty cool. So I already have my black color, or my back color set. Oh, orange. Okay, and then um, I want to see the other side. And then I'll move it over here, and then I would take a screenshot, and then that's pretty much exactly what you see here. Great. So that's it for this this example. Um, it goes pretty fast, right? That was like seven minutes on Oripa. This would have taken a lot longer.